Look at how, oh, I need to put this upstairs. Look how pretty. This is so old. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am in the mood to declutter and this is very rare. So I'm going to do it right now while I feel like it. To be completely transparent, I'm also doing it right now because I got a lot of shit sitting back there because I've been shopping the Sephora sale. So I want to make room for my new stuff, get rid of old stuff. I just, I'm, I need to do better. I'm 40. I need to do better. My motto for this year is trying new things. And that means not holding on to old things and just, you know, mature, all that good stuff. So I don't know how many of these drawers I'm going to do. This is a little different from my setup, but I kind of like it. So we're going to start at the bottom and we're just going to go from there until I get tired. I won't keep you waiting. You guys have seen my makeup collection and a lot of you want to see me declutter. So here we go. All right. So this is the drawer and this drawer contains lip products, which I have decluttered already once on my channel, but then it's my blushes and my bronzers. And I'm going to try to be a little cutthroat, but y'all listen, we know I love my makeup collection. So... I'm not getting rid of anything I don't want to get rid of just because people think I need to get rid of it. This is all my money. I'm not doing this to brag. I feel like I need to say that. Um, but I love makeup. And so I feel like this just kind of shows y'all how much I love makeup. Did y'all see my wine? You probably did. <laughs> anyway, this just shows y'all how much I love makeup. And I've been collecting this makeup for years. Based on shelf life, a lot of it is probably expired. I don't go by that until it looks bad or smells bad or breaks me out. I'm not getting rid of it. So we're just going to start and see what happens. All right, so we're going to start in this corner and see. First, I have this Pure Dark Deep palette. This is fairly new. I do not want to get rid of this. This is a little too dark for me, so I have to use a light hand, but I love this blush. This is a little too dark. I love this to like set right on the sides of my nose and stuff. So definitely keeping. This is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm keeping this for a drugstore option. It's pretty good and I like this highlighter. So going to keep that. Up next we have the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. Y'all this brush probably needs to be clean before I use this again. I really like this. But I honestly only like it for this. And this is really old. I'm going to put it to the side because I don't really reach for this anymore. But it's good. So I'm going to see if I have anything else kind of close to it before I just get rid of it. Because it's actually really good. And I've gotten some good use out of it. This is the Kiko Milano um, Face Palette. I found this at either Marshalls or Target. I can't remember what. I need to play with this again because I think I might have used it. I honestly don't even know. I know I swatched it and I feel like this shade is probably not dark enough. And these blushes are cute, but I'm sure I have these so I can probably declutter this. So I'm going to pull it out to see if I want to keep it. This is the Cover FX. I love this palette. I can tell you right now, this is their Perfector Face Palette in Medium Deep. This is so good. Like everything in here is so good. I don't really use this shade that much, but everything else in here is really good. Definitely keeping. I'm also keeping this. This is the MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact in Medium Deep. This has, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know why I thought this had, I thought this was Whisper of Guilt. I don't know, but I love this blush, this powder. This is all good. Like and this is pretty old, but everything, I can't show you all these swatches. I don't know why I did that. That blush is a little light, but it's cute for a topper. This bronzer builds up well, and I love that highlighter. So keeping that. This I have been holding on to because it's Fenty. I'm not even going to lie. This is probably one of, I know I'm going to keep it because I don't have any Fenty high lie. Let me not lie. I only have one other, maybe two Fenty highlighters that I got in little sets. But I love these shades. I just don't reach for it a lot. And I would probably use them more as eyeshadows than anything else because of the colors. But I'm going to keep it. This is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette. Uh, 
I could probably honestly get rid of this. I'm gonna pull it out because I think, yeah, like this shade is just, it's all right, but I have other ones I like better. That highlighter is pretty, but I have a lot of other highlighters that I like, so I'm probably gonna gift this one to a friend that I know could get some use out of it. That would be better than just throwing it away. So, but this one's gonna go. This is the Morphe Face Palette, and that's Rich 8R. This is more up my alley. Definitely keeping this one. This one's fairly new. I love these shades. Bronzers are deep enough. Probably won't use those two, but yes, definitely keeping. Y'all already know this ain't going nowhere. Love this freaking palette. Use every single shade. This is the Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Better Not Bitter Face Palette. This is the Makeup Revolution Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in Medium Dark. Definitely got not getting rid of this. It is dark. She is very dark um, and very powdery, apparently. But yeah, definitely a good bronzer shade and would even work for me when I get my tan, which is coming soon, baby. So I'm going to keep that. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. I love this. I have a backup of this. I thought it was limited edition and then they brought it back. So I am definitely going to keep this one. This is an overspray on it. It is not really that shimmery, but it's gorgeous. This is the Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer in Supreme. I have Phenom and I love it. And so for whatever reason, I decided to get a different shade. This one is a little more red than Phenom, which I don't have downstairs. It's upstairs in my bathroom, but I love this one. Actually, I think I just only swatched it. I mean, I lie. She's a little red. That would probably be closer to like a bronzer blush shade. But yeah, we're not getting rid of that. I feel like any bronzers that I have that show up on my skin tone, I'm not getting rid of because I feel like they're hard to find. So Huda Beauty Tantor, I need to use this. I have not. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull this out to use it soon because I tried this when it first came out. I hated it. I brought it back and then I didn't, I, I didn't know a lot about um, cream bronzer. So now that my makeup skills have gotten better and I have different preferences, this is in the shade medium. I'm going to keep her and I'm going to try her out. I've only swatched it. So yeah, she is about to go upstairs in the bathroom. This is the NYX Deep Matte Powder Bronzer. This was the very first bronzer I ever found that I thought was gonna be deep enough for my skin and I'll be right, oh, nope, got scissors. Whoa, right here. Um, that I ever found that was deep enough for my skin tone. So when I found it, I bought two of them and now it's not dark enough. So even though this has not been used, I'm probably going to just gift it. So I'm not even gonna swatch it. So that can go to a happy home. This is Juvia's Place Deep Dark Bronzed Face Palette. Love this, it's new, not getting rid of it. This is the Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar. I love the bronzer. This is a blush shade for me. This is a little deep for me. I don't like my highlighters that dark, um, but I could use it as an eyeshadow or whatever, but these other two shades are really good, so I'm keeping this. Y'all, if you have watched my channel for a while, you know that I love this. This is the Alomar Hydrating Complexion Trio, and this is in Dark Rich. Freaking love. I have a backup, not getting rid of. This shade is very surprising because it looks very like peachy kind of orange. I hope it's coming off on camera good enough, but it does wonders brightening under the eye, and I got this for like five bucks, so she ain't going nowhere. This I'm gonna get rid of. I bought it, it sat, I have tried it, and I don't love it. It made my face look so muddy because I kept trying to build it up. It's just not a great shade for me and I'm tired of holding on to it. This is the Hula Toasted Bronzer. Is that the shade? Yeah. I actually really like this. This was in my travel bag for a while, so you know it's good. It is not going anywhere. 
this i bought this because i thought it was going to be deep enough for a contour it is not this is the juvia's place namibia um foundation stick Pfft, barbara that's your foundation shade pretty much y'all know i would wear this as a foundation so i'm gonna move it to my foundations it is not a contour shade i'm struggling on this floor my legs hurt already from my workout this is the Uoma Beauty, which one is this? Double Take Sculpt and Strobe in Honey Honey 3. I think I wanted this to be a bronzer, but it's not quite dark enough. It can work. I've used it, but I like this highlighter shade, so that's why I'm keeping it. This is the NARS Orgasm. I don't even... This doesn't even look swatched. Do I need to keep this? That is really pretty. I'm going to bring this upstairs. I need to use this. I have not used this. I've never used anything NARS Orgasm. And then the last thing in this little section is my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This is in the shade... Can't tell. Sunkissed. And this is new within the last six months or so. Keeping this... This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is actually deep enough for my skin. Excuse my ashy hands. I just washed my hands. This is in the shade Sculpting Bronzer. This is very hard to find, and I think I have a backup because of that reason. It actually works really well and is deep enough, so I'm going to keep it. This next one, love this. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer in 06 Golden. Oh no, boo, she gotta go. Can y'all see that it has mold on it? <laughs> I've never seen that before, so I guess she needs to go. Damn, that hurts my feelings. This is my other NYX matte bronzer, NYX, whatever, getting rid of that. This is my ColourPop Soul Body Bronzer in the shade Dark. I was kind of disappointed because I thought this was gonna be darker and it's not. I literally only tried to use this once. Like, it's a bronzer, maybe. If I get dark enough, that's not gonna bronze anything. So I'm gonna pull it out and try it. I think I'm gonna get rid of it, especially now since I have the Huda Beauty and I have the Elf. Is that right? Yeah, so I'm gonna take this out and try it, but I might probably get rid of it. All right, this is my other Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the Sculpting Shade. So I'm going to put this with this one, not getting rid of it. This is the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder in Deep Dark. This is, oops, probably blinding y'all. This is supposed to be a face powder, but I got it too dark and I use it as a bronzer. Let's see. And I'm going to get rid of that. She looks ashy. I think I was just holding on to it. This is the Minted Yacht Life Bronzer. I need to take this out ASAP because I bought it. I don't even think I've swatched it. I have not used this. Oh, I did swatch it. Um, My hand's wet, but yeah, gorgeous shade. Taking this out to use it. Both of these are new, not getting rid of these. These are the Nabla Skin Bronzing Soft Revenge and Profile Bronzers. I've used both of these. One's a little warmer than the other, but they're both very beautiful. And then we have another Hula Toasted. This one has not been used. Yeah, this one has not been used. So it's a backup of this other one, which I guess I can put these together. In the back right here are lashes. I've already done a lash declutter, so I'm not going to do that again. Moving to blushes. This is the e.l.f bite size duo in pomegranate i got this because there was a lot of hype and everybody was talking about how good they are and the highlighter is pretty good i'm just not in love with that blush shade but that highlighter is so pretty and it's like four bucks so i'm probably gonna do i need to i mean i have a ton of highlighters that blush shade is not bad and I honestly probably don't have anything like it I'm gonna keep it this is Kat Von D as I said I don't have anything like this shade let's see this is pretty old though this is um everlasting face shaper blush in love song it still feels good it's a little lighter 
I don't know that I love this, to be honest. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. This is old. I don't wear shades like this. And I have other shades that I like. I don't see myself ever wanting to pull this out again. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Pink Sky. Got this from Marshalls. I love these blushes. I love the formula. See, there we go. Another pink one. And I like this formula a lot better. So... I'll keep this one. I don't know why I'm keeping it in the box, Lord. I love keeping stuff in boxes. Y'all know that. Um, I'll keep that one. This is the same Bare Minerals Bouncing Blur in Blurred Buff. I got this hoping that it would be close to my Becca Songbird, which is like a really beautiful kind of like bronzy, just a flush of color. But this is kind of more like a dark highlighter. Like, where are you going to go with that, Barbara? Like, really? I'm going to get rid of it. I just was holding on to it because I bought it and didn't want to waste my money. But it's wasting just sitting there. Sandy Cheeks by Melt. This is their cream blush. I remember I feel the same way about this shade. But everybody said this shade was going to be... Why do I have hair in my brush? Um, This shade was going to work for darker skin tones. So I need to try it. But I don't love this shade, I don't think. So I need to try it on my face. I'm gonna pull this out. This is the NYX Machinist Grind Highlighter and Bra Blush Highlighter Duo. Baby, that's not a highlighter for me. So it's not a highlighter duo. I've tried, I think, to wear this as a blush topper. And then this is the highlighter. Look how blinding. Ooh, -wee. yeah, she ain't going nowhere. This is old, but ain't no mold on it. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. Yeah, 12 hour blush in Blissful. See what she looks like. I don't remember when or where I got this. So, oh, now see, we said we didn't have no pinks and then here we go, that is pink pink. Um, where are we gonna put you? Let's go right here. Yeah, so we can keep that one since we got rid of the Kat Von D. Here's my songbird. So this is the other one I was talking about. I, I'm going to show you guys this one because the other one is upstairs in my bathroom. I love this blush. I love it. I love it. I love it. So freaking gorgeous. It has the most beautiful sheen. And it doesn't look like much in the pan. But let me tell you, when I put this on, it just looks like bronze Barbie doll. I love it. Not getting rid of this. This is probably the first blush I ever bought 10 years ago. Not even lying. How she doesn't have mold on her, I have no idea. Physician's Formula, pH matchmaker. I bought this. It said, like, once you put it on, it matches with your body's chemistry and becomes whatever shade it needs to become. But, like, I just think that's so pretty. And it feels good. It doesn't smell bad. I don't want to get rid of it. Nostalgia. Not... This is the e.l.f. Always Rosy Primer Infused Blush. I have used this quite a few. Have I? Oh no, boo, you can go. I, apparently I've used it, but I don't know why or how. This is Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropical Hues. I love this blush. Not going to get rid of it. Gorgeous marble formula. Nice little sheen. So pretty. Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. This is new last summer. I think I got this. This kind of looks like bronzer-ish. But it's a gorgeous shade. I love shades like this that give you a, just a little flush. Not too heavy. This is Elf Putty Blush in Bali probably. Because I think that's the only one I bought. Oh, Lord, you can't see this on here. Yeah, Bali. Love this shade. These are like my perfect everyday shades, so definitely keeping. This is the Kaja Mocha Mallow Play Bento Blush and Bronzer. Uh, this is newish, keeping it. Look, see, talking about you don't have no pinks. Ooh, that's pretty. Definitely going to keep this. What am I little... Mm -mm, not on your carpet definitely gonna keep this one because it's fairly new um 
This highlighter is a little deep for me. I think that was the only thing I didn't like. And then it also has a cream bronzer. So keeping that. This Cargo Swimmables Los Cabos Blush. I've probably had this 10 years. I'm not even going to lie. And it used to be in my travel bag. I really used to wear this a lot, y'all. And doesn't smell bad. Still feels good. It's supposed to be waterproof and all that stuff, which is why it's called swimmable. So I'm going to keep it. All right. Getting to the back. These. Y'all, this is so old. MAC Format. I don't. This is so old. Like, so, so old. I need to use this and see. Doesn't smell bad. Need to make sure it's not going to break me out. That is so pretty. Oh, I might have to get another one. This is Milani Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze. Another bronzy, pretty, shimmery shade. I feel like that should go on my highlighters. Because I don't think I would wear that on my cheeks. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to see. It'll probably go on my highlighters. This is new. Not going to get rid of it. This is Huda Beauty Glowish in 03. Three, very juicy. I have not used this yet. I might have swatched it. Does this twist? What does she do? Yeah. I don't even think I've swatched it. Super pretty berry shade. Keeping that. Another Tarte Amazonian Clay in Blushing Bride. I have used this. I love this shade. It's deep, but it's not like super crazy. It looks very similar to what I just swatched. At. A little bit. Um, just has some shimmer and I think that's just on the, sorry, blinding y'all. <gasps> I think that's just an overspray. So I'm going to keep this one. Definitely keeping. This is new-ish. Uh, this is Milani number 130 Coco Felicita. Love shades like this. That kind of bronzer blush shade that looks like burnt cheeks. Absolutely love. Okay. All of these. Which I'm, hopefully there's only two, three. I'm going to get rid of these. These are also some of the first blushes that I ever bought. Y'all know these are old, right? Like, you know that. I never reach for these. I just keep them because nostalgia. I'm going to get rid of them. Elf, always spicy. I already know what the name is. Love this. Not getting rid of it. Primer infused blush. Also, Elf blush palette in dark i'm gonna keep this definitely good for a drugstore option for blushes kaleidos cosmetic no kaleido yeah kaleido cosmetics skin blush and prima donna uh i think honestly i think i'm keeping this because it was a gift i'm not gonna keep this nars love joy oh Y'all, this doesn't look like much. I know it doesn't, but it's probably not anymore because it's so old. Yeah, she has to go. Oh man, I'm probably gonna get another one of these. I love this blush. Too Faced, Love Flush, Your Love is King. If it's still good. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like I've swatched enough shades like this that I loved and didn't have to think about. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Another e.l.f. Which one is this? Primer Infused Shimmer Blush. Always Breezy. I don't even remember getting this. Uh, very powdery. I don't want to keep this. I don't like it. It's pretty. It almost looks like a blush topper. But the reality is I don't wear stuff like that a lot so yeah she can go rimmel maxi blush in wild card i think i only picked this up because people were talking about how good rimmel blushes were y'all i thought i said i don't have a lot of pinks where are all these pinks coming from this one's still swatching good so i'm gonna keep it for now to have another drugstore option this is the nars ghoul goulet I don't know. 
Ooh. That is pretty and luckily still good. Ooh, I like that. It has a little orange shift to it. I'm gonna bring this upstairs, maybe put it in my travel bag. I know I'm keeping this colored rain, just peachy. This is supposed to be a glow lighter. Y'all, this is such a freaking gorgeous. Look at that shade, not going anywhere. That would be a beautiful eyeshadow too. Almost done. I think we're gonna go through the blushes and stop because my back is killing me. This is the Juvia's Clay Saharan Val uh, Blush Palette Volume 2. Definitely going to keep this gorgeous. Absolutely love it. More pinks. Don't let me ever lie and say I don't have a pink blush because clearly I have more than enough. Okay. I'm mad I picked this shade. I told myself to get something different and then it was ridiculous. This is the Leaf Beauty Cream blush in Tropical Sunset. I'm not going to wear that at all. I'm going to get rid of it. Charlotte Tilbury. I just brought this back downstairs. Cheek to Chic in Walk of No Shame. Use this quite a bit. I'm going to keep it. Ooh, this is so old. Strike by ColourPop. Super Shock. Cheek. Wow, I can't believe this is not dried out. Look at how, oh, I need to put this upstairs. Look how pretty. This is so old. It doesn't smell either. So we keeping her and she's coming upstairs. Oh, that's so pretty. I wonder if they still sell that. I would so buy another one. <sighs> okay, all of these Milanis I'm keeping. I just got these recently. These are the cream blushes in cheek to chic merlot moment keep this is nude kiss keep i've used this is coral crush gorgeous for the summer and spring and this is blushing berry gorgeous keep bare minerals mauve sunrise i love this i think i have this in my travel bag maybe if not, that's where it was, and this is a gorgeous shade. Mary Kay Cranberry Cream Blush. This is really good. You can see I uh, put it in. Love it. Whoa. Kat Von D. We have another one. This is Heartogram. How does she feel? Much better than that other one. Yeah, we keeping her. NARS Dolce Vita Love, and this is probably so old and dry and powdery. Oh, I'm going to have to get another one of these. These are very old, y'all. These are like, I don't even know how old they are actually because I think I bought them from like Glambot, so they weren't even new when I got them. That's so pretty. I'm going to probably get another one if I remember. That's the thing. If I don't have it, I ain't going to think about it. So it looks like it's still good. It doesn't smell. I'm keeping this one because that's pretty. Milani. Red Vino, this is also very old. One of the first blushes that I got, but still pretty and it's good. Milani, this is new. This is Sunrise Senorita, gorgeous. Orange shade, perfect for some, whoa. Oh, uh, Barbara, what were you thinking? Where, we gonna be able to wear, that's a highlighter. That's like the peachy one from what you call that? Think, color rain. So I'm going to keep it because it's new, but ain't no telling how much wear it'll get. These last three, this was a gift with purchase. Milani Luminoso, which everybody talked about. So of course I was like, I got to keep it. And why do you need to keep that? You don't. Got rid of it. And then keeping this, this is Black Radiance Toasted Almond Artisan Artisan Color Baked Blush. Gorgeous shade. Y'all know that's right up my alley. This is the, what you call this brand, Lord? Physicians Formula Saucy Mauve. Doesn't look like much in the pan. Wipe off my finger. Um... Don't look like much on my, yeah, she can go. I thought it was going to be darker than it was when I got it and it's not. So adios. 
All right, that is it for back here. So now we're gonna move to these after I wipe this powdery crap off. All right, this is new. This is the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette. Definitely not getting rid of this. I can't open it though with these nails. There we go. And I just stuck my finger. Yes, I sure did. Those are the shades right there. So now I don't feel bad about getting rid of my other NARS blushes because I have this. This is the Jaclyn. Why is this still in the box? Because I haven't used it yet. Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is in... Which one is this? Uh, don't have a name on it? I know it had a name. The box says Bronze and Blush Duo. This is Hot Lava and Rich Cocoa. Does it say that on the back? Yeah. I thought they had a name. I guess not. I love the packaging on these and I love this. This is really cute, so I'm keeping it. And then the other one I have is B Rouge and Espresso Shot. Love as well, keeping. And this is new. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush. Blusher, I don't know. Black Honey. Pink Honey Pop. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I remember the first time I looked at this name and I was like, I don't get it. That shade is a no, but these two are gorgeous. So keeping that. And then last but not least, y'all already know, these ain't going nowhere. These are my Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palettes. I do have both of them now. This is Citrus, I think. Yeah, this is Citrus. Keeping. Can she fit? Nope. And then this one, I just picked up because I wanted both of them. This is Daria. That's not the name. D-A-R Daria. Barbara making up her own names. So beautiful. Have not used this one yet. Well, I'm going to figure out what I want to put in that spot because it's empty. But... That is it. That is it for this video. I am actually proud of myself because it is actually a declutter and I got rid of some things. So this is what we are getting rid of. Quite a few. More than what's normal for a declutter for me. So that is it. My bad. I just found one more because this was taken out of the drawer because I'm taking it upstairs. And I just wanted to show you guys because I love this. This is the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Spiced Cinnamon. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, keeping this and she's going upstairs. I don't know why I chose to get back down here on this floor. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope y'all are proud of me because I think I did well. So we're going to go through these other drawers another time. <laughs> this is highlighters and powders. And y'all already know, these are eyeshadows. Been there, done that. We're not getting rid of those. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know some of your favorite bl blonzers. You girls tired? Brush it. I can't. Blushes and bronzers. Lord. Um, yeah, let me know some of your favorites. Let me know if you've tried any of these. I would love to hear from you guys. If you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.